In 24 hours, you've got to cover the most distance possible. And I want you to beat that 750 kilometers. Records are there to be broken, and with Ollie Webb's voice fresh in my brain as he set my 2019 Michelin Challenge, I was more motivated than ever to push my performance and increase my endurance, and training was well underway. In 2019, there were two incredible achievements that encapsulate Michelin's strive for long-lasting performance, so really, there was only one place that we could start today's episode. Here we are then, finding myself on a treadmill, practicing and preparing for the Michelin Challenge set to me by Ollie Webb at Silverstone Race Circuit. And well, firstly, I want to demonstrate an amazing athletic achievement that happened in 2019, which was the first ever sub two hour marathon. Now for the last 12 months or so that I've been training and preparing for this moment, I've been running at a maximum of 10 kilometers in any one time. A marathon is 42.2 kilometers. My time per kilometer averages around five minutes, but this athlete was running at two minutes and 51 seconds every kilometer for 42 kilometers. Something scientists didn't even think was possible. And as I start winding up the speed now, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm gonna run at 21 kilometers per hour, which is the pace Kipchoge ran at for two hours straight. I've been going for a minute. My heart rate is increasing. I can feel my forehead beating with sweat. And I reckon I'd probably last around 12 minutes running three kilometers. But this is a nerve wracking bit. I'm gonna increase this up to 21 kilometers per hour to give you an idea of how fast you've got to go to run a sub. <laughs> sub two hour marathon. For two hours, you have to run like this. My heart rate, I wouldn't even want to measure it. That was 45 seconds at the pace that Kipchoge ran for two hours. I need to regain my breath, but that displays optimal performance and endurance to a level that the human race didn't even know was possible. Let's go and explore another achievement that happened in 2019 that we never thought was possible. And that was going over 300 miles an hour in a road car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Supercars of London and welcome to the Goodwood Motor Circuit, the ultimate place to start this video because not only is it a race circuit, there's also an aerodrome. Behind me, you'll also notice that we have a Bugatti Chiron here. This is the first time officially that I can feature this beautiful car on my YouTube channel. I've seen a handful in London, but I've never got up close and personal with it to sit inside and also experience it on public roads. The Bugatti is like no other car when it comes to testing. No other manufacturer goes through this testing procedure. Engine, tires, brakes, everything is tested. 500 miles, this car gets delivered brand new to the customer. So when this car landed in the UK, it already had 
500 miles on the clock, brand new. Absolutely ridiculous. But Bugatti go through so many testing facilities to make sure that this car is absolutely perfect and ready for the road. Exactly the same as Michelin when it comes to the tires on this car. Today, we're gonna delve deeper into the secrets that enabled Michelin to take a Bugatti over 300 miles an hour. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna be driving this car to an airport and then going up to the skies in a plane that also runs Michelin tires and get closer to 300 miles an hour that we're gonna be able to do in this car behind me. This is hands down gonna be the coolest YouTube video I have ever done on my YouTube channel as I take on my quest to find my peak performance and endurance whilst comparing it to the automotive world and today also the aviation world. Here we go then. <laughs> Firstly, it's a bizarre experience because I'm on the right-hand side of the car. I feel like there should be a steering wheel here. But ladies and gentlemen, I am experiencing a Bugatti Chiron. And this is a cool moment for me because like I said, I was not the biggest Chiron fan when it first came out, but it's definitely a grower. The headlights, the taillights, the sound of this thing, the exhaust exit, everything has been designed meticulously and perfectly to achieve automotive perfection. And in my eyes, this is automotive perfection. This is the pinnacle of road cars. And obviously with Bugatti, just launching the new Bugatti Chiron Supersport that achieved over 300 miles an hour. That is a monumental automotive achievement that we will start to touch upon in terms of how that was made possible because it was made possible by the Michelin tires that were developed in conjunction with Bugatti. Bugatti came out and said that the Bugatti Chiron, this exact car, wasn't able to achieve anything over the top speed that this is limited to because of the tires. And with all due to respect to engines, transmissions, brakes, tires are actually the most important part of the car because take a McLaren Senna, a 488 Pista, track focused precision mosquitoes built for lap times. Take them down to a, a budget tire place and put 50 pound tires on that car and the negative impact on the performance of that car, I mean, I don't think anyone's ever done it, but that should be a test. I mean, that should literally be something that we do to prove just how important tires are because the connection to the car, onto the road, and getting that performance is all through the tyres. So uh, let's see how impressive the uh, Chiron is. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, that's, that is hands down. <laughs> Oh my God, that is ridiculous. And the sounds that are coming out of the car as well, I feel like my eyes are watering a little bit. Um, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And if you think that the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires that are on this car pretty much are exactly the same tire that is on the Chiron Supersport that went over 300 miles an hour, but with a very important modification. There has been carbon fiber put into the tire that Michelin tested and engineered and over-engineered to go above and beyond 300 miles an hour. But, but of course, there is no car, there is no road car that can do 300 miles an hour. So Michelin had to fly to Charlotte, USA to test on a plane bench test to go above and beyond 500 kilometers per hour. And then Andy Wallace obviously took that car, the new tires, the new compound with carbon fiber inside to over 300 miles an hour, 304 miles an hour to be exact. Which when you think about it, every single car that we have seen in the last decade that has broken records, the Bugatti Veyron, the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, even the Koenig's eggs, all run Michelin tires. And there are some amazing stories to tell about the one set of Michelin tires that set the records with the Koenig's egg from zero to the top speed 
zero to the top speed and back down to zero again. They were all performed on one set of Michelin tires. And that is such an amazing relationship between Michelin and achieving ultimate performance. But of course, endurance has to play a part as well because you need these tires to last, which is why Michelin over-engineer these tires. <laughs> Now, with cars, with, 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 any, with any fast car, you can say that it takes your breath away, but actually this car is physically taking my breath out of my lungs because it is squashing my organs so much that there is no air to take a breath from. It is absolutely unbelievable. I've never experienced a car like it. I have never, ever, 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 ever experienced acceleration quite like it and then you've got the the turbo whooshes there's so much more character to the chiron than there was in the veyron and i am in love with this car even more now that i have experienced it and i got a feeling we're gonna go again <laughs> definitely takes a certain procedure to get in and out of a Bugatti Chiron. It's not like any other car. You find yourself kicking and scuffing the leather on whatever car it is that you're getting in and out of, but the Bugatti is something totally different. And uh, here we go. We move on to another Michelin tired vehicle. This time it's a plane. Uh, and as you can see, I don't know much about planes, but apparently I'm gonna fly it. that dynamically move and accelerate at probably 30% throttle and to think that I experienced that at near on 100% um, a day of insane experiences that I will probably have to just let everything settle down a little bit before finishing this video what has just happened but uh, I can hear with my ears that there are cars going around the motor circuit so uh, I think let's head inside and, uh, and then end this unbelievable video that hopefully you guys will believe with me that this is probably the coolest video I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> 